Hello once again, and welcome back to Hoosier History, Legends, and Heroes. In this video, we are returning to Putnam County. Listed are the nine covered bridges of Putnam County. The covered bridge years date from 1880 to 1922. We have visited several of these bridges already. In today's video, we will be visiting two more of Putnam County's covered bridges. The first covered bridge we are visiting is the Dunbar Covered Bridge, which was built in 1880. This is a sketch of the Dunbar Covered Bridge, which was published in the Indianapolis Star on May 23, 1943. The artist was Frederick Polly. We have seen other sketches of Frederick Polly's in one of my earlier videos, the video telling of the Ramp Creek Covered Bridge in Brown County. If you haven't watched that video yet, you may want to check it out. It talks about the bridge originating in Putnam County and being moved to Brown County in 1932. The Dunbar Covered Bridge was named because the timber, which is the northern pine, came from the nearby Dunbar Farm. The bridge was built by local farmers. It is believed that they had help from J.J. Daniels because his name was found on one of the interior timbers. The Dunbar Covered Bridge is one of the three bridges built in 1880. It is located closest to downtown Greencastle of any of the nine Putnam County Covered Bridges. As stated on these historical markers from the Putnam County Convention and Visitor Bureau, Dunbar Covered Bridge is 174 feet long, 16 feet wide, and 13 and a half feet tall. It has 12 foot overhangs on each end. It sits on cut stone abutments. It also tells that the covering of bridges was done to protect the bridges from the weather. Also, as with this bridge, they were often named for adjacent landowners. Repairs were made to the bridge in 2010. The Dunbar Covered Bridge is a two-span burr arch truss style of bridge. This is also an unusual style of bridge because it was designed and built with an arrangement of open air windows. The Dunbar Covered Bridge covers Big Walnut Creek. These pictures show you the stone abutments and the open air windows. For our second covered bridge, we will now be visiting the Ocala Covered Bridge. The Ocala Covered Bridge was built in 1898 by Joseph J. Daniels. Along with the Dunbar Covered Bridge, the Ocala Covered Bridge is located in the center of Putnam County. It is just down the road from Three Fat Labs Resort, which is a venue for wedding and other events. Ocala gets its name from the former Ocala Station along the Old Big Four Railroad. The Ocala Covered Bridge is a single span covered bridge. Like the Dunbar Bridge, it is a burr arch truss style of bridge. It is 16 feet wide, 14 feet high, 152 feet long with 15 foot overhangs. It has cut stone abutments and a sheet metal roof. The Ocala Covered Bridge also covers Big Walnut Creek. These pictures are from two different vantage points, one from the bridge wall and the other along the outside of the bridge. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed visiting the Dunbar and Ocala Covered Bridges in Putnam County. Both bridges can be driven through, but remember they are both only a one lane bridge. Please support this channel by subscribing. Also like, share, and leave a comment if you would like. Be sure to click on the notification bell so that you will be notified when the next Hoosier History, Legends, and Heroes video is uploaded. Until next time, 